historically, I have a lot to be angry about. Anger is useful, but it does need to be channeled in the right way. Yeah, there's a lot of imagination in the, in the map of London. It's, it's a curious, curious thing. A lot of people who are white regarded black people, that they were all sort of strange monsters. And they weren't like people, they were different. The way I've actually interpreted the map has mainly focused on the question of strangers and outsiders. And then in the context of um, immigration in Britain, and uh, what, what a lot of people have to say about immigration, how they feel about it, how we feel about outsiders, how we feel about including people. And I wanted this project to actually be an inclusive uh, project. So I felt that you know, different types of people within the community would be the correct approach uh, for this work. In a way, it would have been much simpler and cheaper <laughs> to have them all made by professionals in London. But three groups mainly um, work very happily together to, to, to start actually physically engaging with them while they were having conversations amongst themselves on uh, what is it to be an alien, why are we so afraid of the other, so when you come to the end of your thread... African Americans have a tradition of quilt making. Uh, they're called story quilts. And people will use fabrics, leftover fabrics, um, to make things. And they created very beautiful works of art. And so I felt that I wanted to actually make this work in that tradition. It's good, yeah. We thought it'd be a bit tricky at first, but it's OK, actually. I reckon the bonacons are quite tricky, and uh, yeah, and the uh, purple bits of his poo. <laughs> it's continually um, pushing them outside their their boundaries. The fact that they're going to meet an international artist is, you know, really exciting. I love the colours. It looks quite exciting, and uh, of course the Dutch wax fabric. I, I think is quite important in the design because that gives it the sort of African feel. You do it slowly and you just sit and you listen to what's going on and it's just quite chilling. I feel that art can be um, a way to start conversation anyway and um, I don't think necessarily that art can actually change things but I think that art can be a starting point so that people can start to engage with the issues. If they drive a car, they're putting gases into the atmosphere, which is then causing bad weather, which then can destroy a I guess they'll have to ride a bike then. We're literally just like focusing on like sewing and then we're just chatting along and then random things are coming out of our mind. My issue with the planet being ruined is less so about how it affects people because, I mean, as a species, we're the one doing it. I feel really bad for all the animals because, like, they haven't done anything wrong. I wanted to, you know, to think about diversity. And so, I'm, you know, I was really pleased when I heard the different groups that would be working on this. And I, you know, because I felt that the um, strangers on the map are kind of, you know, I mean, I'm a stranger. You know, we're, we're, all, we're probably all, we all sometimes feel like strangers. And um, so I felt that, you know, the right group of people, you know, worked on, on the project. The thing that always strikes me is that they usually look really cheerful, like they're owning their difference, don't they? They're not, they're not craven looking at all. No, I mean, absolutely. And I wanted to celebrate that mm -hmm. defiance, you know, with the colour. And, you know, most of them are not even aware that they're being discriminated against. <laughs> they're just having fun. <laughs>
I think you're not done with the whole Napa Mundi yet. Are you, you've got further ideas. Oh, no, absolutely, yes. So it's an ongoing uh, project. I mean, it's really fascinating. So, uh, you know, I'm, do, I'm going to kind of do more works around it. When you put something in a frame, it immediately becomes like more than it used to be. And I think like seeing it and realising that other people will see it and think of it as art it's makes like it different. I feel a pride. <laughs> like I feel proud that it's up there. I did that bit. The the cover at the, the end. It took ages to do. And I think you can see the relation to the map, especially in certain certain ones and certain bits, and in some of the bunting as well. The map of Monday actually is used a great deal for all kinds of things. It seems to in continuously inspire people in, in all kinds of ways. So it's delightful to see what Yinka has done with it because that's uh, really taking it to a new level. Um, I did the head, what did you I did the Oh, I did the middle. shoes. There's like the pink wings which like are fire. And then we have the mouth. Yeah, we're using the mouth um, as mouth. The project gives them time and a bit of space that they wouldn't normally have in lessons to experiment and to deal with things in a more abstract way. It is definitely inspiring new ideas and new ways of thinking that they wouldn't normally be exposed to. The idea that this map is frozen in, in time is really not, you know, we, we do know, we know we can always revisit things. How has our thinking changed? Are we much wiser? Are we, do we know people better? And these kind of lens that the, that a contemporary art project can, can bring have been really illustrated beautifully in this project and I think that's really what Mellow Arts tries to do.